What's up? This is Real Talk here with Lionel Jefferson. Um, just got it on my mind about sober and drunk. Now, it's okay to drink. And if you smoke weed, if that's your forte, I guess it's okay to smoke weed. I mean, smoke weed. But here is the problems that lies behind the scenes. Well, what lies behind the scenes is, for example, a sober person would get up and go to work and talk about how he needs to go get a, educa a better education so he can get a better job, so he can be able to do this and that and the third. That same person, when he get off from work, would go and get drunk or get high. And then, man, I'm all right. You know, I got paid today. And then he no longer thinks about education anymore. Okay, the sober person will say, you know what? I need to go, man, and pick my kids up and spend some time with them tomorrow. That same person get drunk. Homeboys call them or whatever. Homegirls call them. Hey, what you doing? Oh, nothing. You want to do this and then the third. And because you're drunk or you're high, guess what you say? They'll be all right, man. I'm going to go get my kids, but I'll get them next time. And then you may be a person that's in a position where you want your own place. You want your own home. And you're renting or you're staying with your mom. So while you're sober, you're talking about how you want to do this and how you want to do that. But then when you're drunk, you ain't really concerned about doing this or doing that. So the point is, if being sober make you think one way and being drunk make you think a, another way, this means that you are constantly having indecisive actions or you're being indecisive in your decision making. So if one minute you're thinking positive and the next minute you're thinking negative this means that you're back and forth so if you're back and forth guess what you're doing you're kind of like going in a circle or you're just reciprocating going back and forth you're not being progressive you stand still and guess what you become stagnant but folks what happens is that what we don't realize especially in the black community every day if you're in your 20s, you're not going to stay in your 20s. If you're in your 30s, you're not going to stay in your 30s. And those are the years where you need to make stuff count. Take it from me. So this is what happened. This is where a lot of people have the upper hand on us. So if you think real positive thoughts and make some real positive decisions with a clear mind, majority of the times, you'll make some positive decisions. You'll buy a house or you'll save money at an early age so that you'll be able to help your kids when they get to an age that they need help. For example, once you realize most of your life have passed you by, all your youthful, all your youthfulness is about gone. Now you're in your 40s and you realize, you know, I need to get myself together. So now you go to school and now you want to buy your first house. But guess what? Your kids are 10. Your kids are 15. So you're buying your first house and most mortgages are 30 years. So by the time your kid get 18 or when he want to buy his first house, you don't even have no equity in your home to even dip back and help your kids, help your youth, help your generation, help your name. So they have to go out and get loans. They have to go out and work harder than was normal. Or they'll get stuck into the circle to where they're not doing nothing because it seemed impossible to achieve it. So it's okay to drink. And if you smoke, I guess it's okay to smoke. But everything, everything shouldn't be done on an everyday basis because it makes you stand still. You become stagnant. And you know what happens to water when it becomes stagnant? Yes, it stinks. It stinks. The reason why the Dead Sea 
has no life in it. It's because of the salt content. And not only that, the water don't move. So life cannot thrive in the Dead Sea. All kind of strong minerals build up. So that's the same thing that happens with our life. It becomes stagnant. And here we are, 50, 55, and 40. Ask yourself a question. How can your mama help you? And see how maybe she have made mistakes. Or how can your daddy help you? See how she have made mistakes. Many of us can't go to our parents and get the type of help that we need when we were 17, 18, and 19 years old. So be mindful of how you spend your time. Drink in moderation. Have fun. But always keep a sensible mindset so you can make progressive moves. So you can be progressive. This is Real Talk. Just a shout out to all my black, beautiful people, kings and queens, to continue keeping up with the struggle and the fight. And always repeat today with a better day tomorrow. Have a good day.